let's sing this song. God is good all the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good. Amen. Take a start, sir. We were sinners and so unworthy. Still, for us, He chose to die. Feel the speed, it's only spirit. Now we can stand and testify that His love is everlasting. Hallelujah. And His birth. They will never end. God is good all the time. To the thought of peace in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. So this this light will shine. God is good all the time. Though I may not understand all the plans you have for me, my life is in your hand. And through the eyes of faith, I can clearly see God is good all the time. The tongue of praise in this heart of mine, God is good. All the time, darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. 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 He's so good. All the time. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God is good. All the time. Di ko po na rin eh. God is good. All the time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's continue worshiping. There is nothing on earth I desire beside you. My heart and my strength, many times they fail. But there is one truth 
that always will prevail. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Forever. Wala kong sino man. Siya lang. Hallelujah. There is nothing on earth I desire beside you. Ooh, my heart and my strength many times they fail. But there is one truth that always will prevail. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength. Of my heart and my portion forever, 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 forever. Hallelujah. Patuloy po nating hawitan ng Panginoon. Alam ko, madalas na po nating naririnig itong kantang to, pero the message of the song, if you, can, if you can read, if you can sing the song, napakabuti ng ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All oh, my days I've been held in your hand From the moment From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will sing Of the goodness of God You have led me through the fire in the darkest night. You are close like no other. From the moment that I wake, I know you are so friend. I have need of the good man. Oh my life So my life you have been faithful Oh my life you have been so so good every breath that I am I will see. Means some past second stanza. Oh God, I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in the darkest night. You are close like no other. As a father, I know you as a friend. Of the goodness of God, oh my life, is 
natin ang Panginoon. Haleluya. God bless you. Mary Jerry. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Sino pinagpala ngayong gabi? Amen. Awitan pa lang. Amen. Pinagpala na tayo. Haleluya. Amen. At mala malay na po makaupo ang bawat isa. Yan. Uh, magandang gabi sa bawat isa. Amen. Hallelujah. Lalo akong kinabahan. Ah. <laughs> Amen. Ang ngayong gabi, uh, dadako tayo sa isang gawain. Amen. Uh, bago tayo dumako doon, magpapasalamat muna ako sa Panginoon. Amen. Uh, ngayong gabi, uh, pinapasalamat ko sa Panginoon. Opportunity. Amen. Uh, makatayo sa inyong harapan, mga kabataan. Amen. Uh, ayun nga, habang nasa simbahan, amen, nagpa-practice. Uh, di ko alam, di ko ninanais talaga. Pero ang Panginoon ang nangusap, amen. Uh, ang Panginoon talaga ang nangusap na gagamitin ka niya, amen, magpatiyanod ka lang. Amen. Di ko alam, simula pa lang nasa bahay, di ko na alam kung anong gagawin ko eh. Na sinabihan ako ang magiging MC. Second night, di na ako masyadong makatulog, di ako makapag-focus sa trabaho. Pero, andun pa rin yung kalakasan ng ating Panginoon. Uh, binibigay niya at pag-iingat sa akin. Amen. At uh, sa inyong harapan, uh, ako'y nakatayo. Amen. At sa mga nag, uh, nagpunta ng mga meeting, amen. Uh, pinagbotohan, pinapasalamat ko sa ating Panginoon yun. Amen. Uh, ngayon gabi, uh, tatawag lang ako ng mga... Ilang aawit sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Tinatawagan ko na po ang may baysiya. Aawit sa ating Panginoon. Ah, habang pupunta sila dito sa harapan, amen. Ah. Ah, yung mga, ah, meron po pala kagabi ah, naiwan ah, si Brother Daniel. Daniel. 
Uh, 30 pieces na ping pong. Amen. Uh, kung sino pong minakakita. Yeah, pabalik na lang po. Amen. God bless you. Bye bye see ya. Amen. After ng may bay siya, uh, pinapahanda ko na yung Pasig. And 
Amen. God bless you. May be see ya. At nawa, ipagpalain ka natin, Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Uh, may unting pala lang po. Baka may nakakita daw po ng iPhone mini. Mini na iwan kanina po. Kanina, pink case daw po, malaya lang po na may abot dito sa harapan. Brother Paulo, iPhone, mini iPhone. Uh, yun lang po. At nai, tiyatawagan ko na rin po ang Pasig.
Awesome. Uh, magandang gabi po sa bawat isa. Kami po ang Pasig Church. At uh, kagalakan po namin mag-alay ng awit sa Panginoon. Ang awitin po namin ay composition ng isa po sa EBA Youth Member. At we hope po na mapagpala kayo sa awitin ito.
God bless you, Pasig Church. Amen. Amen. Uh, unting paalala rin po. Uh, uh, yung mga brother natin dyan na mga gwapo, yan. Uh, nakikita na naman natin sa likod, yung mga sister na nakatayo. Amen. Uh, Siyempre, tayong mga brother, pagbibigyan na natin ng mga sister. Amen. Oh, yung mga gwapong brother dyan, ha? Amen. Yan. Ang dawin nyo. <laughs> Ang dawin. Yan. God bless you, mga brother. Amen. So, ayan, mga sister. Pwede na po yung makaupo. Yan, mga brother, talaga. Pagdating ng panahon, Amen. Maging haligi talaga ng tahanan yan. Kaya sanay, ay, ngayon pa lang mag-practice na kayo tumayo. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Uh, susunod kong tatawagin. Amen. Uh, Sapang Palay, youth. God bless you. Good evening po sa lahat. Uh, nais lang din po namin maghandog ng awitin sa ating Panginoon. Amen. God bless you all. Take another sip, Lord, will you carry me? And when I've lost my fight, will you be my shame? Will you set me a table in the presence of my enemies? I shall not want, I shall not want. Souls got a shepherd in the valley, and I shall not walk. I shall not walk. I shall not walk. Cause my cup's running over, running over, and I shall not.
Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you sa Pangpala Youth. Amen. Inanyahan ko na rin po ng mabilisan ang Samar Youth. Samar Youth. Amen. At susunod po sa Samar Youth ay Skupang Youth. Uh, amen. God bless you, Samar Youth.
Pagpalain kayo ng ating Panginoon. God bless you, Kupang Newt. Amen. Uh, Lasa awit sa ating Panginoon. Peace. Amen. Alleluia. At luwalhati sa pangalan ng ating Panginoon. At sa gabing ito, nais po namin siyang awitan at naway mapagpala po ang bawat isa.
Bless you. Amen. Kupang yun. Okay po. Announce ko lang po ngayon gabi. Last day po, magkakalik po ng offering. Amen. Nakipagpalain na ang ating Panginoon. Ngayong gabi, sino Nagagalak, amen, uh, naway, uh, nasa part na tayo ng uh, gawain, ang pakikinig ng ating salita ng ating Panginoon. Amen, isang ang palakpak dyan, amen, uh, naway excited sa makarinig na sa kanyang salita. Amen, uh, uh, inanyahan ko na po ang bawat na tayo tumayo. Amen, uh, habang tiyatawagan natin ang ating preacher, si Brother Daniel Mazur, amen, God bless you po. Awitin natin yung uh, Bride Age. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, ngayong gabi, Amen. Uh, nawag, uh, naway maging panalangin natin ito sa ating puso. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. This is the brightest that I want the world to see. God bless you, brother Daniel. for that. Can we sing one more chorus? This is a young people's service and uh, I am really uh, honored to be here with you to see such a great number this of young people that have a desire to worship the, the Lord. Oh, the pillar of fire has come in the sand to the This is the very hour that the prophets of all have long to see the age of the eagle, the time of the harvest, the rapture in season, can't you see? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you think that chorus here, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell in you? Do you know that? Key of D, D. Just before we go to the word, can we sing a few choruses? If that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell in you, dwell in you. If that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell in you, oh, dwell in you, it shall quicken. same spirit Amen. that raised Christ from the dead dwell in you young people these mortal bodies shall be changed in a twinkling of an eye because there is a power inside of you to change you from the inside how blessed people we are aren't you happy we can have church tonight you are not somewhere in the world you're not somewhere not knowing who you are you are in the right place Amen. We gathered here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And our, the word of God says, where two or three I, are gathered in my name. What is his name? The Lord Jesus Christ. Then all things are possible. Then your life can be changed. Then you can be healed tonight. Amen. You can be filled with the Holy Spirit. 
That's the God we serve. You know, we just don't want to have another youth camp. This is a final call. Amen. This is a going home time. This is a serious hour. We don't want just to be message believers. To have all the iPads and quotes and that's all good, young people. That's fine. We are here to become the message of the hour. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, I love the Lord. Just before I read the, read the scripture, when I gave my heart to the Lord, when I was 14 years old, and I was going crazy in my mind because here was the world pulling me, and here I was every Thursday and Sunday in church, in the message church. I grew up in a message family, but my heart was far away from God. I, you know, I learned to do, to raise up my hands. I learned how to uh, sing. I learned how to say sometimes amen. But my heart was not in it. But one day, you know, the world was pulling me so much that I had a war in myself. Because you cannot serve two lords. You have to decide whom you will serve. You have to realize you are created for the purpose. Not to live and, and enjoy the, the, the sinful world. You are here to give praises to God. To give Him your heart. To give Him your time. And then He will prosper your life. Amen. He will open the windows of heaven. Glory to God. So when I was going crazy, one time I was in the church. And the brother was preaching just the Thursday night service. But all he preached, I thought he knows all about my life. I thought somebody told him. But it wasn't nobody, it was God himself who inspired him to say things that I needed to hear. And I couldn't wait till the end of the service to give my heart to the Lord. And when I gave my heart to the Lord, I, I, I promised to God. I said, God... Whatever I will do, I will do it the best I can. If, if you will give me just a gift of whistling, I will be the best whistler in the world. If just, if I, if just you gave me hands and I can clap my hands, I want to clap the best I can. Brothers and sisters, young people, I believe we will have a good church. Because we are not the losers, we are overcomers by the blood of Jesus Christ. You were created for the purpose. Amen. Just when you're standing. I wanted to start with this. Magandangabi. <laughs> but I forgot to tell it. I really love you young people. Mahal nyo ba ang paninon? Amen. God is good, isn't he? He is wonderful. Thank you for receiving me the way I am. You know, uh, many greetings from our young people back home. They love you. They pray for you. I spoke with them tonight and they have a prayer night service also. And they'll be praying for the success of the services here. And uh, if you are here and uh, you never gave your heart to the Lord or you never had experience with the Lord, I believe God is here more than willing to touch your heart. And you know, I am not a preacher that would uh, force you or press you. That's not me. I believe God works a little bit another way. You know, God wants to touch your heart by His Word, by His presence. And then when you feel that, it's easy for you to open, amen, and act upon the Word. So I am here just with my precious brothers, Brother Danny, Brother Ray, and all the pastors. I just put my shoulders to their shoulders. I am no one special. But I thank the Lord for the message of the hour. Aren't you happy for that? You know, we are not just ordinary Christians. We know the word for this age. And you know, the word for this age is our safety place. Because that's the promise of the hour. That before this great day, the Malachi 4, 5 will come. Amen. Someone with the spirit of Elijah to restore us back to the original world. Praise the Lord. 
Let's just read Jeremiah 29, 11 one more time. Jeremiah 9, 11. And I hope you will understand me all. Tonight I am without interpreter. Brother Ray is happy. Because I always feel bad for my interpreters, you know. I am a little evangelist. I move around, you know. And they have to move around with me. And sometimes they don't, then they miss the word. But I hope the Holy Spirit will reveal to you whatever you will miss in English. But do you understand? Are you ready for the word? Let's dive in. Amen. We don't have time to just prepare ourselves. Let's just get a hold of God's word. We are here to speak about our Father. Amen. We want to speak about how great He is. That He is a life changer. That He is the Holy Ghost giver. That He is the healer. He is the redeemer. Amen. He is the one that can give you more revelation. He make your life prosper. It's all in our Lord. It's all in the Lord Jesus Christ. So the message of the hour, young people, that's not, a, that's not William Branham's message. No, he was just a vessel. The message is the person. The person of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, if the message is only quote for you, you know what you can do with the quote if you don't like it? Right? You can do that. It was just an example. We love the quotes. <laughs> but if you run into someone that you don't like, that's what you can do with the piece of paper. But I want to ask you, if that quote becomes flesh in you, if the quote becomes the person, you have a problem. You can't throw it so easily like the piece of paper. You have to deal with it. Amen. You have to have fellowship with it. And the more you have fellowship with the person, the more you are changed from glory to glory, from glory to glory. And that's why we are here for. So Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. I want to ask you a question. Who is that you? Can I see your hand? Can you identify yourself? Let's read it one more time. For I know, says the Lord, the thoughts that I think towards you. Can I see your hands, young people? Praise the Lord. What a wonderful group of people. Says the Lord, thoughts of peace, of not of evil, to give you an expected end. So like yesterday, we spoke about being reserved for the purpose. You know, uh, God, before the foundation of the world, He had thoughts about you. And you know, His thoughts cannot change. Aren't you happy for that? His thoughts cannot change. You may be seated. You know, our thoughts can change. And uh, you may say, brother, I'll visit you tomorrow. I'll bring you a nice meal. Or your wife can tell you, uh, you know, I will cook you a steak tomorrow. With, uh, or, or sinigang. I like sinigang. You have such a wonderful food here. But you know, maybe some circumstances will happen that... That uh, she will forget about it and maybe, maybe uh, something will happen at her work and she will be nervous and she would forget. And me as a husband, you go back home and, and you expect a steak and there is a pizza. It's a mistake. <laughs> yeah, so we might forget, amen. Our wives might forget. But I am here to tell you the Lord Jesus Christ never forgets. When he declares his word, he always remembers what he said. And his thoughts cannot change. So whatever he was thinking about you before the foundation of the world, he cannot change those thoughts. Because God is eternal. Amen. So that's what Jeremiah is saying. God had thoughts about you. He saw you here in uh, Laur. Laur? Yes. He knew exactly we will be here today in 2024 in the youth camp. 
He knew that it will rain yesterday. But we thank for the master of the wind. The master of the rain. I thank the Lord for the weather. Amen. It makes easier for us. But that's the God we serve. You know, young people, I have on my heart that we will have such a close relationship with this person. You know, we are not here just, just because we are message believers and we believe in the prophet and, and, and I know all about the seals and I know all about the, the, the thunders and I know all about the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, we want to meet the person because he is the seventh seal. Who is the seventh seal? Christ himself. Amen. Who is those thunders? This voice? Christ himself. What is the Holy Spirit? Christ himself. So when you have fellowship with the person. How many of married people we have here? Or engaged? You already engaged. Can I see your hands? Wow. Here is a brother. Okay, you are really young people. Handsome brothers and handsome sisters. Praise the Lord. But you know, when you, when you get engaged, when you are married, you know, uh, there are two people coming together that were predestinated to be together before the foundation of the world. We believe it like that. We pray to the Lord. Amen. And uh, uh, can, I, can I take you, brother? You don't mind? Brother Daniel, yeah. hallelujah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love to give examples. You know, never forget that God is hidden and revealed in simplicity. How many of you believe that? Sometimes we, we look for great God. Where is this God? How, you know, where are those thunders? Where are those seals? Remember... Remember, God is hidden and revealed in simplicity. He can reveal His word to anybody He wants, even to a child. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So here is Brother Daniel. Here is Brother Daniel. Nice to meet you, Brother Daniel. It's a good name. But you know, when you get married, are you married, brother? No? Yes or no? No. No, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't want to be mistaken. But Brother Daniel is not married. But when you get married, I am married. You know, and I married my, my wife because I love her. Amen. Brother Ray said amen. Praise the Lord. He loves Sister Bennett. That's why they got married. They prayed. Amen. And the Lord joined us together. And uh, so, you know, when I come back home, I don't want just to go to my garage and repair the car and, and, and come late in the evening and say, honey, okay, good night. And I wake up in the morning, where is the coffee? <laughs> you didn't make a coffee? <laughs> and when she will make a pizza and something will go wrong and the smoke will come and funny smell. What if I would come? I married you, I thought you were a good cook, you're not a good cook, go back to your home. <laughs> you know, that would not be a happy marriage, amen? Something would be wrong there, but because we love each other, praise the Lord, because I love Sister Annette, that's her name, amen. I revealed to you the name of my wife, Sister Annette, and I married her because I love her. I saw something special in her heart that was a character, praise the Lord. So you young men always look for a character. Because the beauty maybe will pass away. But the character gets better every day. And when you live on, when the hard times will come, the character will be even more beautiful. Amen. She will be your help and you will be help to her. And because I love my wife, you know, when she burned the pizza, I came to her. I said, oh, honey, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Next time it will be better. For sure it will be better. I am going to tell you, you are the best cook that I ever met. Because I as a husband, I have a vision. 
and that's what I want to preach to you tonight. When vision becomes reality. When vision becomes reality. When I married my wife, I had some visions. I had some dreams. Amen. And I, I, I wanted to, uh, you know, build up my family. And, uh, and uh, I married her and I knew there are potentials in her to be the best cook. Praise the Lord. So even when she, uh, you know, uh, uh, burned the pizza, still I said, you are the best cook. Even when she done something wrong or, 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 you know, she was crying, I came to her, honey, you are the best lady I ever met in my life. You have the prettiest smile. You have the prettiest eyes. Amen. I hope you have a spiritual jacket on. Thank you, Brother Daniel. Let's give him a hand. I am sorry for a... Is it okay, Brother Danny? Just a simple example. But you know, the, the way it is in natural, it's only a type for the spiritual marriage. Can you say amen? Because the person we are talking about, the Lord Jesus Christ, He is not only your Lord, He is not only your Father, He is not only your Redeemer, He is your Bridegroom. You know, we were singing the song, this is a bright age. Amen. So if this is a bright age, there must be a bridegroom here. Because he was the one that is choosing the bride. Praise the Lord for that. You know, we are so privileged to live in this hour. We are not living in the time when, when Apostle Paul, you know, he was laying the foundation, which was good. And through all the seven church ages, something was added on. Amen. Something was lost. But then God said, I will restore, says the Lord. And he sent first the Luther's message, the Wesley's message, the restoration of the gift. But the fourth message of grace was the Holy Ghost itself. Can you say amen? You know, so the third message of grace was the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But there was a fourth one to come. The Holy Ghost itself. And that's where we arrive today. That's why this is the bride age. Because the Holy Ghost itself is the person. It's not only a good feeling. It's not only a, oh, I, I, I felt good in the youth camp. Okay. But what will happen if you go back to your home church or home, wherever you are from, and you will start to feel bad? What then? Did you lose everything? If you meet the person... Hallelujah. If you meet the person, <laughs> praise the Lord. If you meet him, he is not only a good feeling. He is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our Savior. He is the Holy Ghost giver. He said, cast your burdens upon me because I care for you. This person caring for you. Maybe your parents, even maybe your pastor doesn't know what you go through. But you, he is your best friend. Can you say amen? You can talk to him. You can tell him your heart's desire. And he will always listen. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. That's the God we serve. Amen. And his thoughts about us was different. Amen. Than what the devil is trying to do. Devil is trying to destroy you. The devil is trying to rob you of the faith. He's trying to take away your peace and your joy. But the person of the Lord Jesus Christ that was revealed by the message of the hour. Hallelujah. You know, the message of the hour came with the eagle's anointing. Can you say amen? You know, all the other beasts, they were earthbound. You know, lion was walking down on the earth. The, 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 the oaks, he was, you know, uh, uh, earthbound. You know, anointing of the man, earthbound. But the force anointing. Brothers and sisters, even the, uh, the, the, the beast itself speaks of the freedom. <laughs> it speaks of something, you know, that was never here before. Because the eagle, you know, and the Bible is very precise. Flying eagle. Brothers and sisters, not a sitting eagle. You know, the devil is very, you know, uh, smart. He wants you to be a sitting eagle. But the Bible said, flying eagle. 
There are heights that you need to explore. Amen. There are victories that you need to run to. Hallelujah. That's why all things work for good for them that love God. Because whatever that comes your way, God gives you anointing to be an overcomer. You can spread up your wings. And you can mount up with wings and let the, let the, uh, let the presence of God and, and, and wind of the Holy Spirit lift you higher and higher and higher. Is that your desire? You know, we were born on a chicken yard. Amen. We were trapped in sin. This sinful body is the product of your parents. Is that right? But there is something inside of you that God placed there before the foundation of the world. Amen. And the message came because you were reserved for the purpose to be the bride of Jesus Christ in that age. Praise the Lord. Do you believe that the word is the light? The word is the light. Hallelujah. What happens? Are you farmers here? Do you plant potatoes or rice or beans? If you would have a bean, bean uh, uh, seed, if you plant it and you put it in the ground... What happens if the sun is shining in Philippines and uh, water is coming over that seed? Something will happen to that seed, amen? After a while, a green leaf comes up. It's pushing itself through that dirt, amen? There is power in the seed to express the life that was put in there. And the same spiritually speaking, there is a certain life inside of the seed that God placed in you is the Christ life can you say amen there is you know there is true victory do you know where it is it's in you already you know where the rapture is it's already in you do you know where the healing is it's already in you all that you have need of is all in the seed what we need is this Light to shine and the, the, the wind of the Holy Spirit to water the seed and something will be pushed up. Aren't you happy for that? So it's not you only trying and trying and reforming yourself like in the previous ages. Let's be a better Christians. Let's be a better husband. Let's be a better young people. We need to change our thinking. We need to realize by revelation, it was given to us by Almighty God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And when the light of the gospel is shining, you want to go one way, but the seed inside of you starts to push up. There is greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Do you believe that? There is a certain life in the seed that is inside of you. And maybe your life, this outward life, goes somewhere. You know, you have evil thoughts and you've done something wrong. But just wait for a minute. Amen. Get in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Open up your heart. You know, the Bible that we read, the message that we read, it is reality. Amen. It's God speaking to His bride. Amen. The loved one. You know, the bridegroom, He loves His bride. Brother Ray, do you love your wife? Amen. He, he okays that. Amen. We love our wives. There is a love relationship. And the same it is with, between the bridegroom and the bride. There is a love relationship. And God is revealing to you who you really are. Let me read you a scripture. Let's open Proverbs. Let's open Proverbs 29, 11. <clears throat> Proverbs 29, 11. I know you know that verse very well. Where there is no vision, the people perish. In other words, where there is no revelation, the people perish. And, uh, and let's open Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Chapter 2. From verses 1. I have something on my heart to share with you. You know, when the vision becomes reality, I believe that's the time we're living in, young people. 
when the vision becomes reality. And, but let's look what is the vision first. <clears throat> Habakkuk said in chapter 2, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what shall I answer when I am reproved. Habakkuk was the prophet. Can you agree with me? And the prophet Habakkuk, you know, he's speaking those words and, uh, 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 and, and he's seeing a vision that God is showing him. And, you know, second verse says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision. In other words, uh, whatever you see, put it down on paper, on the table. For the uh, answer, and write the vision and make it plain upon the tables. For what? That he may run that readeth it. Aren't you happy for that? So the prophet receives the word from the Lord. And when God speaks to him back, he said, write the vision down. So the vision is the word of God. Can you agree with me? It's not some kind of a vision, you know. Oh, uh, I, I saw a dream. I need to buy a red table. Okay, that might be for you. But we're talking about the word vision. We're talking about something sure. Because your vision might perish. But the vision of the word never perish. That's what Habakkuk is seeing. Verse 3. For the vision or the word that God has sent through the prophet in this hour. He said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. God's vision cannot lie. Can you say amen? amen. Whatever God has spoken about you, it is the truth. It cannot be changed by circumstances. It cannot be changed by the devil himself. It cannot be changed by the demon powers. When God spoke it, it will be so. Amen. Can you say amen? amen? In the beginning, God had a vision. He wanted to, to, to create Garden of Eden. And you know what happened? He started to speak the vision out. Whatever was in his mind, he said, let there be light. Amen. And what happened? There was light. Maybe it took some time. Amen. Maybe it was a process. But God's word cannot come back to him void. Amen. It will always accomplish whatever it was sent for. Isaiah 55, 11. And God spoke the word of God in our generation. Because Habakkuk said, there is a vision for an appointed time. You know, and it's something special when... You recognize you are in the midst of the vision. <laughs> you know, how many of you love the prophet of the hour? Amen. You know, one time God gave him a vision. And he saw that he will be going on the street. And, uh, and, and, and he saw there was a fence. And on the fence there was a hole hanging and and inside of the you know behind the fence in the in the garden there was an old gray fort standing and, and there was a house and and he saw himself going to the house knocking on the door and uh, and a lady would open up and there was a sick girl in the in that home and he sees himself Going inside. Just bear with me for a moment. He sees himself going inside. And, uh, and he's sitting. And uh, still there is you know, no prayer going on. He sees another lady coming in. With the red sweater on. And then some kind of a man gets in. And he takes a hat. And moves it from a TV to another place. And when that happens he sees himself standing up. Praying for the girl. And the girl is healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know when uh, some weeks later. Brother Branham is in Colorado. He is there to pray for one man. That is uh, sick with TB. And, and, and he is on his way back to the airport. And he, he had some time. So he's walking, and, and, uh, and while he's walking. He's looking to the left. And he says. 
I, I saw it somewhere. I saw that scenery somewhere, where it was. And when he saw the hole hanging on the fence, he recognized, I saw it in the vision. Young people, he saw that the vision he had is becoming reality. It was no longer a vision. It was the reality. He is there in that situation. Amen. You know how happy he was? Because he knew the end before the beginning. <laughs> he knew he is in the vision. And he was a believer man. He had fellowship with the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. He knows he cannot lie. His visions are thus says the Lord. And I want to tell you today. His word vision is thus says the Lord. You know my vision can fade away. You know, any big man's vision can fade away. But God's word can never pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away, he said. By my words shall never pass away. That's why it is so important, young people, to build everything on the revealed word. Because when you build on feelings, oh my. One day, one day you are on the top of the mountain, the other day you are a loser. Amen? Anybody experience that? Be sincere. Anybody experience that? But we are here to stabilize our walk with the Lord. We want to step into the real vision. That's a, that, that's a desire I have for every one of you. That you will see yourself in this great vision of God. In the word of God. Amen. So Brother Branham, he sees that Ford. And he knew. He knew. He has to go in. So he goes in, he goes in, he knocks on the door, you know, he knocks and there is someone opening up, he shakes the lady's hand, amen, and the lady is shocked, because you know, imagine in Colorado, he is a stranger and she is a stranger, but in the vision, hallelujah, the vision made for him this event, a, a, a familiar place. He knew he was there before. So for Brother Branham, it was no longer a stranger. He knows what's coming. Aren't you happy for that? I know you have a spiritual jacket. I am talking about what our prophet experienced. But I am talking about the word for this age. God saw you as an overcomer. Amen. Jeremiah said, my thoughts to you, hallelujah, are of peace. Out of victory. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You don't have to see it with a sad face. You know. Sorry. You will see a lot of interactions. But that's the way I am. We don't want to be Christians like this. Are you happy? Yes. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. We don't want to be a Christians like that. Amen. But when you met that person, it quickened the seed inside of you. And then even when this body, these bad thoughts are coming and Satan is sending it, the one inside of you is said, you are an overcomer. You cannot lose. I saw you there. Amen. When Brother Branham was beyond the curtain of time and these people were coming to him, then he came back and he said, I saw you there. Yeah. Young people, he saw you as an overcomer, as the one that made it to the rapture. Glory. This is a final call. And we are here to line up our life with the vision, with the right vision. Amen. So Brother Branham, you know, he, he waits. He said, I know you don't know me, but I am a preacher. And the lady is astonished. He said, uh, where is your person? You know, uh, a church. Or, uh, uh, he said, the world is my church. <laughs> Amen. Wherever I go, I preach the gospel. Is there, is, a, there, is there a need in the house? And the lady said, yes. My daughter is sick. She's dying. I don't know what is wrong. Brother Branham came in. 
You know, read it in the message. It astonished me. They talked together for about an hour, Brother Branham said. In a stranger's house. But you know, Brother Branham was sure. He was not sitting there. Is it really this home? Is it really the situation? Maybe I should go to the airport. No, he was calm. He was sitting. He was waiting. Because you cannot run ahead of the vision or you cannot be late. You have to be on time. When you line up your life with the vision of the world, the results will come. You don't have to look for it. They will follow you. Automatically, you will be changed from glory to glory. But because the people run ahead of the vision, the results are not coming. The, when we are too late behind it, the results are not coming. We miss it. But you didn't miss it. You are here. Amen. You came on time. Praise the Lord. Brother Branham was waiting till the other lady came in with the red sweater. And in his heart, he said, thank you, Lord. There is one more event happening. He was looking at that hat laying there on the TV. He could not wait till someone walks in and takes that hat unconsciously. Amen. I want you to realize the vision of God is revealed or goes on unconsciously. You might travel to the youth camp. Maybe a simple thing. Maybe you helped the brother. You helped the sister. Maybe you prayed with someone. But in the vision of God, it was the right thing to do. Amen. And suddenly the heaven doors are open. And you receive something what you were asking for for years. Yes. And God said, you got the victory now. Amen. Amen. I, it. I see that in the vision. So when the man came and took the head and put it in the right place, brothers and sisters, that's what anointed prophet's faith. He, was, he didn't stand up and said, I, I think, I, 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 I hope she will get well. No, faith comes by hearing. When you hear the word for this age, for this moment, the faith of this moment rises up. Can you say amen? amen? And when the Lord showed the vision to Brother Branham. Hallelujah. It anointed his faith. When he saw the vision becomes reality. You know, he stood up. And he said, thus says the Lord. I will pray for that girl. And if this girl is not healed. You can run me away and call me a false prophet. But I say, thus says the Lord, this girl will going to be okay. Amen. Why he was so sure? Because he saw it in the vision. And he saw all the details coming in place. And we can see all the details coming in place. Israel is back home. Cup of iniquity of this world is overflowing. There must be bride somewhere. Amen. There must be young people that will step into God's vision. And they said, this message of the hour is for me. We don't want just to talk about the message. We are the message of the hour. We want to become the message in flesh. Because when the word becomes flesh, that's what overcomes the devil. Can you say amen? You know, even Isaiah said... Emmanuel is coming. Redeemer is coming. Amen? Amen. Ezekiel was speaking about it. Jeremiah was speaking about it. Amen? It was just a vision. A prophecy. Amen. You know, Brother Branham said, vision, it's another dimension. Amen? When you see the vision, it's another dimension. You know, so when there came a restoration of the gifts and, and, and on Azusa streets and people start to see the visions... You know, uh, uh, they went overboard with that. Amen. Everyone saw some kind of a vision. But today, I am talking about a specific vision. The word vision. Because the book of redemption was opened. When the seals were broken from the book, God opened up a vision for his bride. He opened up a vision for the young people. 
Because he knew the man is not able to make it on his own. With his own vision. With his own, you know, okay, I will be a better husband. Well, that's fine. You can read all the psychological books about how to be a good husband. That's all okay. But I will tell you, where is the best book to read? This is the best geographical book. Do you believe it? Your sins, he placed in the depths of the seas that cannot be reachable. This is the best geographical book. Amen. Because today scientists, they want to measure everything. They want to go everywhere. They want to touch it. They want to explain it. But the Bible tells us our sins, when you confess them, when you repent of your sins, they go somewhere where the devil cannot take them out from. Amen. God throws them in the sea of forgetfulness. And he puts a big sign there. No fishing. Aren't you happy for that? <laughs> the Holy Spirit is guarding this place. No fishing. So if you are here today, you never gave your life to the, God, to the Lord. Let the Holy Spirit work upon your heart. There is a depth of the sea. That when you repent your sins, your old life goes there. It's washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Never to be remembered again. That's what the vision speaks. Amen. He said, I will give you true holiness. Amen. You don't have to produce it and produce it. No, we don't live under the law. We live under grace. Grace. This is a bright age, a revelation age. Amen. When you see what he has done for you. Oh my how can you do other way but just to live for him? Yes. Just to worship him. Amen. And when you have a problem, talk to your daddy. You know, my daughter is getting married next April, in 19th of April. That's why I have to rush from Philippines back home. To, not to miss that event. But you know, when my daughter, I remember one day, she missed the bus from a school. It was very late. And she was calling me, Daddy, uh, my bus just, I missed the bus. I am here in a train station. You know, because it was my daughter. You know, I didn't say, okay, your problem. You, were, you needed to be there on time. Your problem, see you tomorrow. Sleep wherever you want to be. Do, 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 do. No, we don't do that. Why? Because I am her father. I took a car. I was already in my pyjama because it was 11 in the evening. I put on the sh you know, uh, proper clothes. I took the shoes. I opened up the garage. I did a lot of things because of my daughter. Because of the love I have for my daughter. And I was driving there and she was waiting and she said, Daddy, I, was suppo I know I told you I was supposed to come earlier. I'm sorry. I said, don't you worry. Abigail, come, sit inside. Let's just have a talk. How was it in school? Amen. I didn't want it to just say, why you have done that? <laughs> Praise the Lord. But the same it is between God and his bride. And we're talking about the vision becoming reality. Let it sink down. Brother Branham comes to that bed where the girl was. Can you imagine the situation? And in his heart was perfect faith. Do you know why? It wasn't coming from him. He didn't figure that out. Oh, I hope. I have the best wishes for her. No. He saw it in the vision. And that gave him a perfect faith. Because he said, Lord, you cannot lie. I am here, young people, to tell you, God cannot lie today. Do you believe that? Whatever you are going through, God is not a liar. He is your father. He wants to have fellowship with you. He wants you to catch the vision and become the vision of the hour. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. He doesn't want the message only to be a good thought in your mind. He wants you to realize... 
I am the message of the hour. Amen. Amen. You know, when the prophet came and he preached the message, you know, the message didn't reveal William Branham. The message revealed the bride. The special lady. Amen. You read the message, he speaks everywhere about her. Amen. He said, this is the bride age. He says, this is the age of the perfect faith. Amen. He said, this is a uniting time. What he's talking about? Union between God and his bride. Praise the Lord. So Brother Branham comes to that bed. He lays hands and he said, Lord, I thank you that you already showed me. I pray for this little girl in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Make her whole. You know what happens? This girl was healed instantly. Praise the Lord. You know, and the mama and the other lady and the other man, you can read it in the message. They were jumping. They said, hallelujah, hallelujah. My girl that was sick now is okay. Maybe stood up in a bed and said, mama, do you have anything to drink? Do you have anything to eat? Where was Brother Branham? Our prophet, our example. Amen. First fruit that became flesh. Amen. First one that came to maturity. Adopted son. Can you say amen? Brother Branham wasn't there and he said, <coughs> It's me. Did he done that? He didn't say, uh, you know, I am William Branham. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I am. I, we, 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 I don't want to be, you know, uh, uh, lift up myself, but uh, I am proud to be humble. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do that. He was your example. It was genuine. Yeah. He knew he has nothing to do with it. Young people, you have nothing to do with it. All the glory goes to God. He saved you. He made you a new creation. Amen. He predestinated you to be the overcomer in this age. Brother Branham said, while they were rejoicing, I silently backed off from the house. I closed the doors. He didn't even say goodbye. He was going back to the airport. He said, Lord, you are a wonderful God. You never lie. You always stay faithful to your word. That's the daddy we talk about. Amen. That's the God I am talking about to you. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. Amen. And remember, vision, it's another dimension. Praise the Lord. God sent the message, and that's God's vision for today. Do you sing that song? Justify, justify. You have not done it in the first place. You justify, justify. Let's sing it silently. Justify, you had not done it in the first place, you justify. What is this song telling about? They could not sing that song in previous ages. Because the word was not restored yet. The vision wasn't complete. Amen. But we live in the time when the vision is complete. There is no other prophet coming. But he said, here am I. I saw someone worthy to open the book. Hallelujah. John, come up higher. My bride, come up higher. Step into the vision. The vision cannot lie. When John was weeping, when he saw a great vision, locked on an island of Patmos, not a pleasing place, rocks everywhere, amen, scorpions, maybe the circumstances, you know, like yesterday, it was raining here and raining there and, and bumping on the, on the, maybe you were walking in the mud, but there was a desire in you. 
I want to be here. I am so tired. I traveled six hours. But you sacrificed that. You came to this camp. And it's not in vain. Amen. Because the vision is complete. And God cannot lie. He'll meet you here. When you open your heart. You know, the devil is not scared about how loud we are. We are not this kind of people. You know, I am an emotional person myself. But that doesn't scare the devil. What scares the devil? When you realize by revelation that you are in the midst of the fulfillment of the vision. And you catch it. And you believe it. He is trembling. Because the moment you believe it. He is a loser. And you are an overcomer. Do you believe that God is here fulfilling the vision? I don't know all of you. I don't know your hearts. I don't know the troubles you go through. But I'm just here to tell you that there, maybe across the land in Europe, there is the same kind of people. That heard the same vision of God for today. Heard the message of the hour. And do we believe that? And because we believe that. I see the same life in you. What I see back home. Coming from the same source. From the seed of God. Because the vision becomes reality. Aren't you happy for that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when John was in these unpleasing circumstances, you know, God never forgot about John. And God never forgets about you. Even you there in the back. Maybe workers. Maybe sisters that washing the dishes. God saw you in the vision. Aren't you happy for that? Maybe someone came here with a burdened heart. You don't have to be leaving the camp with the burdened heart. Amen. Because you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. free. Amen. Amen. You know, when John was there on the island of Patmos and he was walking and he was prisoner there. We are prisoners here in Laodicean body and in Laodicean age. But we don't come from this world. Amen. We come from above. But the angels of the Lord found John there. God sent them down to the island of Patmos. And John received one of the greatest visions that was ever given to a man. Can you say amen? He saw all the plan of redemption. He saw everything from the beginning to the end. Can you say amen? You know, God doesn't have to... Write some ads on to the book. It was finished. Amen. Before the foundation of the world, he already had a plan. That's why we can be happy. Praise the Lord. Because Satan had a beginning. But our vision had no beginning. And if you realize that you are part of the vision. If you see yourself in the word. You are an overcomer. How many of you read how Brother Branham said, you need to identify yourself in the scripture. Did you read it yourself? Don't, do you want to identify yourself with the scripture? If I would be you, I would rather identify with someone positive. Amen? I don't want to be identified with Caiaphas. Anybody here? Don't raise up your hand. <laughs> I don't want to be identified with Judas. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be identified with, with someone of a, 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 you know, that, that, that was uh, possessed by enemy's power. I want to be identified with Joshua. Amen. I want to be identified with Caleb. Amen. I want to be identified with Moses. Amen. I want to be identified with Noah. Amen. I want to be identified with William Branham. Amen. Can you say Amen. amen. Praise the Lord, because I see myself in the scripture. The vision is fulfilling. You know, in our country, 
I will be closing soon. But in our country, just next door, there is a war going on in Ukraine. We see the king of the north rising up. And people, you know, are scared. The, the economic of Germany, you know, they are the engine of Europe. And they are pulling all the Europe behind them. But even their economic is choking. <laughs> because the politicians, they don't have a remedy for that. The, you know, the, the, the armies, the leaders, they say words. But they don't have a remedy for that. But aren't you happy for that? Our vision was already spoken. We had a prophet in the land. And he said, the king of the north will rise up. Amen. They all will be united. Amen. Under the ecumenical, you know, council of churches. But there will be someone that will stay true to the vision. It's the bride of Jesus Christ. She is chosen for that. You are chosen for that. Holy Spirit is securing. And he said, I will make sure. My seed inside of this brother will grow. Will grow. That's why we go through so many problems sometimes. Amen? amen. Can you say amen? If everything will go easy, you think, you know, this flesh, it is uh, connected with the serpent seed. There are doubts in this flesh. Can you say amen? We are body, spirit, and soul. But your soul is predestinated. There's where the seed of God is. And I am talking about your soul. When your soul catches the vision. The gates of hell cannot overcome you then. Then it influences your spirit. Then it influences your flesh. And you say, greater is he that is in me. Your flesh is saying, ah, don't take this guy serious. He's only from Europe. He doesn't know how to speak Filipinos. But your soul said, I want you more, Lord. I want more of your Holy Spirit. I want more of your presence in my life. I want to straighten up my ways with your vision. Is that your desire? I want to be a better Christian. I want to be a better song leader. I want to be a help for my pastor. Is that your desire? I want to come to my daddy and say, Daddy, thank you for raising me up. Thank you, mommy, for your time. Maybe it was hard. Maybe we were lacking money. When maybe we had nowhere to sleep. But anyhow, you led us to the Lord. You teached us the message of the hour. I thank you for that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And in that great vision, when John is there, and, and, and uh, you know, read Revelation 4. John wasn't there just trying I want to see the vision. I want to see the vision. You know, vision seekers. And God gives you whatever you desire. Oh, I saw a dream. I am not against it. I hope you understand me. God can send visions. Can you say amen? God can give dreams. Amen. But we don't seek them. We already have the greatest vision. The revealed word of the hour. His promise made in plain view in this hour that's the vision I'm talking about it will stabilize your life it will make you say amen even when you don't feel it <laughs> it will make you sing even when you're aching even when you have pain in your back you will raise up and you said Lord you are my healer even when your children are in the world, you mommies, you daddies, you say, as for me and my house, we shall serve God. Because that's your vision, Lord. I see myself there in the scripture. It's me there like Joshua. I am saying the same word. Amen. You know, John is seeing the vision and he sees the plan of redemption. And he sees the throne of God. And, and no one was worthy to open the book. To lose the names. To lose the power for the victory life. To lose the power for the rapture. Amen. To lose the rapturing faith. No one was worthy. And John was weeping. He said everything is over. But one of the elders says. Don't weep John. Because the lion of the tribe of Judah prevailed. 
Hallelujah! Isn't God wonderful? And John looked. You know, John is the type of the bride. When John heard the word, the word quickened faith inside of his heart. He didn't say, no, I don't believe it. I'm going to hide myself. I'm not going to believe this. No, he raised up his head, the scripture said. Amen. And what he saw? <laughs> the bleeding lamp. <laughs> Can you say amen? amen? So who was the winner? Lamp or the lion? The same person. The one who was the lamp, he is also a lion. <laughs> amen. You know, you can only tell it by revelation. You know, the, the intellectual thinker, he said, okay, okay, wait a minute. Is he a lamp or a lion? Both. <laughs> when you need a lamp, he is your lamp. But when Satan is tormenting you, a lion comes. And he said, you are my son. I am your victory. I am your lion. I can roar and the demons flee. I can roar and unbelief is fleeing. Can you say amen? That's our lion. That's the bleeding lamb that prevailed. Amen. That's your daddy. I ask the musicians to come. I trust something was said. In, I know it was in simplicity. Many examples. But that's how I felt in my heart. Remember Habakkuk said there is a vision for an appointed time. So the word of Luther, the message of Luther will not work today. It was good for the previous age. That's why we needed the message of the hour. Amen. Because that's where the rapturing faith is. Young people. Maybe you can play some soft, soft worship song. Maybe we can bow our heads, just you when you sit. Can we just meditate a little bit with the Lord? Just talk to Him for a while. You know your life. You know what you were going through. Talk to your daddy. You know, brothers and sisters, young people, we have the vision that was spoken to us in this generation. There won't be other age coming. This world is falling apart. But you are an overcomer of this hour. I trust you see yourself in the vision. When you read the message, greater than Solomon is here. And you see, Lord, you are greater than Solomon. This great person is with me in my heart. Goes with you to your school. Goes with you to your church. Goes with you wherever you live. The circumstances will not stop God. Just open up your heart. Are you willing to do so? If you have a burden in your heart, you can lift up your hand to the Lord and say, Lord, here I am. Help me to realize the vision. Maybe my life was... With one step in the world and one step in the message. But I want the reality of it. I want you to be my father. Be my bridegroom. Be my redeemer. May God bless you. May God bless you. May the Holy Spirit brood among the isles. Reveal to you that this is the bright age. Let it give you perfect faith. Like he did to the prophet when he saw himself in the vision and he said, Lord, this is the time. This little girl, she must be made whole because I saw it in the vision. Young people, we saw the vision today that there will be overcomers in this age. And you are the one. You are the one. If you can say, Lord, I believe it. In my heart, I believe it. I give myself to you. May God bless you. May the Holy Spirit take all the burdens out of your heart. 
If there is anyone that never gave her his life or her life to the Lord. When the Holy Spirit is brooding. If you want to give your heart to the Lord. You are welcome. Do you believe that the, Lord, the Holy Spirit is here? Do you believe He hears your cry? I am not here just to press on you. I just presenting the word of God to you. I present you the vision. And the vision is reality. May God bless you. You little sister, you little brother. We thank you, Father. We thank you for the revelation of the word. Thank you for saving me with your blood, Father. Thank you for making the word real to my heart. Father, I pray for these young people. Lord, you see the hands that were lifted up. I don't know the lives behind the hands. But you know, Lord. Speak to these hearts, Father. Let the Holy Spirit come and fill it up to overflowing. So that we might realize, Lord, on your feet. Don't you want to raise up your hand and say, Lord, here am I. I want to worship you. I want to say how great you are. May God bless you. May God bless you. In the presence of Jehovah, God Almighty, King of Kings, King of Kings. Do you believe we are in His presence? Troubles vanish. Hearts are mended. Hearts are mended. In the presence. In the presence of the King. Of the King. I want to hear you sing from all your hearts. Lift up your hand. In the present. Talk to your daddy. Of Jehovah. If anybody wants to be prayed for, you can come forward. Almighty. Troubles vanish.
more time. I surrender all. Don't you love him? Aren't you happy that the vision becomes reality? Aren't you happy you are part of the vision? God saw you before the foundation of the world. Prophet spoke it and you believe it and become the word of the hour. Hallelujah. I'm amazed that you love me. I'm amazed. Let's worship him for a while. Yeah. Hallelujah.
spirit but the presence of God is here to cast that thing away because in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there is a victory do you believe it sense of God there's nothing like the presence of God it's the reality it's not only the emotion it's the feeling you have in your heart it's the reality that you have in your heart when you go back tonight, do me a favor. Before you go to sleep, kneel down wherever you are. Maybe with your leaders. Maybe in your tent. Maybe in your room. And thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Don't thank a preacher. Don't thank the Lord. I cannot save you. I cannot do anything for you. But the Lord Jesus Christ, He already did. He gave you everything what he had need of. And he placed it in the form of the seed inside of your heart. I am here to tell you it's not coming. It's in you already. And we are here to push away the doubting clouds. I am not here to present you anything new. New revelation. It's all in the book. That was opened. That's the vision. I lost my own vision. And his vision became my vision. Praise the Lord. If someone was here that for first time gave your life to the Lord, talk to your leader. Talk to your pastor. Amen. Move on with the word. If the word says, repent, be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Is that what the vision speaks? It's the part of the vision. And Brother Brenner was waiting till everything comes in place. 
And sometimes we say, Lord, why we don't have a victory? Lord, why I am not victorious? Did you do everything what the vision says? When you do, it entitles you to say, Lord, here I am. You're obligated to fulfill your word. Aren't you happy for that? May God bless you. Victory is mine. I believe we had some victories tonight. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is today. understand Polish language. Anybody here? You don't speak Polish? Well, you are all invited to Poland. So before you come, I'm going to teach you one Polish song. Okay? Play, brother. Victory is mine. I will sing it in Polish. You listen to the words. When you will visit us, we will sing together. Zwycięstwo jest me. Zwycięstwo jest me. Zwycięstwo jest dzisiaj my. Rzekłem szatanie, jedź precz ode mnie, bo zwycięstwo jest dzisiaj my. O, zwycięstwo jest me. Zwycięstwo jest me. Zwycięstwo jest dzisiaj my. Rzekłem szatanie, rzekłem Szatanie, jedź precz ode mnie, zwycięstwo jest ci szajmy. Amen. I love you with the love of God. If you never spoke in tongues, now you spoke one. But it was Polish language, I interpreted that. May God bless you. Just before I hand it to brother Danny, I want to tell you, it's a great honor to speak to you. I grew up, I grew up in the farm in Czech Republic among the chicken, turkeys, and sheep. I'm not a clever person. I am not an engineer. 
But I thank the Lord that the vision became reality in my heart. And I was just here to, I am just here to be a blessing to you and to remind you of the things you already heard. So you that came forward for a prayer or whatever, wherever, if you were in your seat and you were blessed, thank the Lord for that. Because he is the same yesterday, today and forever. If you never gave your heart, give your heart to God. It's too late. It's the final call. If you never was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no other name. There is only one name that the devil trembles before. That's the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the name of the Father. It's the name of the Son. It's the name of the Holy Spirit. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you remember when Brother Branham was in India? And these people there, these magicians, they made the table to elevate. And you know, Brother Branham came and he said, in the name of William Branham, may this table fall down. Nothing happened. He said, in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, let it fall down. Nothing happened. But you know, he knew what the vision spoke. He knew the reality of God's vision. He said, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may this table fall down. Brother Branham said, the table fall down so hard, it broke all four legs. I believe that's what happened in your life tonight. Some shackles, some chains, they were broken. You are set free because you are the bride. Amen. You are part of the vision. Hallelujah. There is very, very old song. I don't know if you know her. Uh, know it. Can you give me a key of C? C? The word says it goes from C then to F, back to C and G, you know. It, you will catch it up very, very quickly. It's not form and it's not fashion. It's salvation sent from God. It suits me fine. It is old, but it's new. It's powerful and it's true. I praise God, this Holy Ghost is genuine. It's not for, and it's not fashion. It's salvation sent from God. It suits me fine. Oh, it is old, but it's new. It's powerful and it's true. I praise God, this Holy Ghost is genuine. Now listen to the verse. When the devil gets you down and he's running you around, my friend, there's only one thing left for you to do. Young people, listen. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ And you'll find this Holy Ghost is genuine Oh, it's not form and it's not fashion It's salvation and from God it serves me fine Oh, it is old but it's new it's powerful and it's true. I praise God, this Holy Ghost is genuine. One more time, the first verse. When the devil gets you down and he's running you around, my friend, there's only one thing left for you to do. You are, you have to do something. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And you'll find this Holy Ghost is genuine. Oh, it's not for, and it's not fashion. It's salvation sent from God, search me fine. It is old, but it's new. It's powerful and it's true. I praise God, this Holy Ghost is genuine. It is old, but it's new. It's powerful and it's true. I praise God, this Holy Ghost is genuine.
It's not a form, it's not a fashion, it's salvation sent from God. It's the Holy Ghost person. Brother Danny. Mahal nyo ba ang paninon? Thank you, Lord. Amen. How can we stop such a wonderful service this evening? Amen. Pwede ba natin purihin ang Panginoon ngayong gabi? Amen. Stepping into the vision. Amen. Sabi ng scripture, I have not been disobedient to the heavenly vision. Kaya naniniwala ko, mayroong mga kabataan na lumapit sa harapan, meron silang naramdaman na bahagi sila ng pangitain. At naniniwala ako, bawat isa sa atin ay bahagi sa isang makalangit na pangitain. Amen. Uh, kinulang pa rin po tayo sa tubig, but we will do another sacrifice. Naniguro na ako, bumili na ako ng mini pool. And we're going to fill it up with water tomorrow evening because I believe, I feel that there are people, there are lives that are being touched this evening since last night. Amen. May mga magsusuko ng buhay nila sa ating Panginoon. And that's a very good start. Hallelujah. Repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. At sa manabautisman man tayo sa mahabang panahon na and yet uh, nakukulangan tayo sa paglakad natin sa ating Panginoon magpatuloy lamang po tayo Amen hanggang sa ang kasakdalan ng pangitain ay matupad sa pamamagitan natin mga kapatid you cannot deny the vision because you are part of it isipin nyo bago pa itatagang sanlibutan meron ng pangitain ng ating Panginoon and to feel that this evening na bahagi ka, bahagi ang bawat isa sa atin. Amen. No one can deny that. Mahal ba natin ng ating Panginoon ngayong gabi? Oh, how I love Him. How I love Him. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hindi nagkataon lang na na-inspire tayo na yan ang mapiling uh, team. It's the final call. Amen. Kaya wag nating palampasin. Huwag natin palampasin. Amen. Dahil pag pinalampas natin, baka yung udyok ng Espiritu Santo na naramdaman natin, Amen, ay hindi na natin maramdaman pang muli. Hindi na natin marinig pang muli ang kanyang panawagan. Amen. So you still have? Amen. Gawin po natin yon bago natin i, uh, ilatag ang ating mga katawan. Pagod, puyat tayo. Amen. Let's spend, spend some time. Amen. Pray for people who need to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for each and everyone. Masahan ba natin ngayon yun, mga, kag- mga kapatid? Amen. Yun ang uh, uh, paalala. Amen. Uh, 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 mungkahi ng ating kapatid. I know it will do everyone something good this evening. Amen. So alam ko, meron pa kayong activity afterwards. At siguro, amen, uh, 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 sama-sama tayo u- u- ulitin natin awitin natin yung yung theme song amen this is the bride age how many believes this is the bride age it's the bride age hallelujah thank you lord jesus sa mga singers just help us sing amen bakit ng microphone at awitin natin ito nang sabay-sabay para nang sa ganun maiwanan po ito sa ating mga puso at habang Uh, nagsisink yung mga bagay na nadidinig nat, narinig natin Amen, awitin natin yan mula sa ating mga puso Amen, God bless you Amen, tinatawagan natin yung ating MC Amen, hallelujah before we close this service with a prayer Amen Gandhi 
had worked so wondrously in the days of history. But I live in this age when he fully manifests in me. Amen. This is the bright age and I want the world to see. The pillar of fire has come and it's setting God's children free. This is the very hour that the prophets of all have longed to see. The age of the eagle, the time of the harvest, the rapturing season is near can you see. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. This is the bright age, and I want the world to see. The pillar of fire has come and set God's children free. This is the very hour the prophets of all have long to see. The age of the eagle, the time of the harvest. Misa pa chorus, amen. Amen. Chorus, amen. This is the bright age, and I want the world to see. The pillar of fire is coming, setting the children free. The very hour that the prophets of all have longed to see The age of the eagle, the time of the harvest The rapture is in the sun is near to see The rapture of the eagle, the time of the harvest Amen. Palakpakan na natin itong Panginoon. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Minsan pa palakpakan na natin, Panginoon, na pinagpala tayong gabi. Ngayong gabi. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hirap tapusin ang gawain. Amen. Lalo na ang presensya ng Panginoon na sa kalagitnaan natin. Amen. But there pa, may announcement. Okay na. Amen. So, uh, makaupo po muna tayo. At uh, salamat sa Panginoon sa napakayaman uh, na mensaheng ating narinig ngayong gabi. Alam ko na ang puso ng bawat isa ay uh, nag-uumapaw ng kagalakan. Amen. Kagalakang espiritual. Amen. Uh, narinig natin ang galing mula sa langit sa pamamagitan ng ating kapatid, Brother Daniel Mazur. So, ang oras po natin ngayon ay uh, 10.18. So... Uh, maganda na yung ating uh, panahon ngayon. Salamat sa... Sino magpapasalamat sa buong maghapon na, uh, na hindi tayo binigo ng ating Panginoon kung paano yung mga panalangin natin kahapon ay uh, ipinagkaloob niya and we're still uh, claiming and praying that the rest of the camp ay ganito po ang magiging ating uh, klima. At uh, kagaya niyan sabi natin ay uh, magiging open na po yung maraming mga areas para sa ating... Uh, Group interaction. So, kaninang umaga, uh, pin, pinamigay na rin po yung, mga, yung ating mga materials para sa flag making. So, I believe ang bawat mga groups ay meron ng uh, na-claim na material. So, it doesn't have to be uh, extravagant naman yung ating flag as long as ma-identify kung sino yung group na ito. So, 
yun naman yung purpose ng ating mga flag. So, siguro isabay na natin sa group interaction yun. Pwede natin yung isabay. And also, yung ating uh, artwork materials. So, ipinamigay na rin yun. So, pwede natin gawin yung artwork as a group para as a group natin itong ipepresent. So, uh, bigay tayo ng ideas. Pwede rin namang itong uh, individual. So, ang submission po ng, 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 uh, ng poster making ay bukas po ng hapon. So, bukas ng hapon ay uh, kukolektahin po yan. Siguro after nung ating ilang mga panel uh, discussion, kukolektahin po natin yung ating uh, uh, poster making. At ganun rin po yung uh, yung ating mga t-shirt, yung mga nag-claim po doon sa ating online registration, available na po siya. So bukas ng umaga ay doon po kami sa dati naming area, doon po sa registration, doon po kami pepuesto. So group leaders na lang po ang mag-claim per church and magsama na lang siya ng ilan niyang mga uh, magabu- tagabuhat para makuha nila. So per church po yun, i-distribute po namin. So, tuloy-tuloy po po ang ating gawain hanggang bukas. So, siguro bukas ng umaga, uh, ira-run through ulit natin yung ating uh, gawain for the rest of the day para po uh, updated tayo. Dahil alam ko na yung ating uh, program, ang dami ko nakikita ang mga camp program na nakakalat. So, ingatan po natin yun from time to time. Uh, yun po yung ating magiging guide para on time po tayo palaging nagsisimula sa ating, uh, sa ating gawain. So, after po nito ay... Uh, Siguro, uh, pakuusapan ulit natin yung ating mga assistant group leaders uh, na i-guide po yung ating mga groups kung saan po natin gustong uh, mag-group interaction. So, pwede po dito, pwede rin po doon sa ating amphitheater. So, nilagyan po yun ng ilaw para maliwanag po yung area. So, dalawang area natin pwedeng pag, pag, uh, pagtipunan dito po tsaka doon sa sa amphitheater. So, assistant leaders, please, group, uh, yung groupings nyo ay, uh, yung mga groupmates nyo ay i-gather nyo sila. So, so kung saan kayo magkikita. And, uh, habang ginagather po yan, request ko ulit yung uh, mga group leaders. Uh, yung group leaders, dito po tayo sa harap at yung, uh, kung present po yung ating mga counselor para lang pong uh, i-review natin yung ating uh, group interaction program na pinrepair ng ating core group, Brother Micah, Brother Fed, and Brother Mark. So, i-review lang po natin yung ating pag-uusapan per group ngayon. So, five minutes lang po ito. And then after that, pwede na po tayo mag-proceed sa ating uh, grouping. So, kung titignan natin yung ating program, 11 po matatapos. Pero hindi naman natin, <laughs> hindi naman natin uh, uh, mahigpit masyado yung, end, yung pagtapos ng time. So, pwede naman tayo mag-extend kahit konti para ma-cover natin lahat. So again, after po ng announcement na to, uh, pwede na pong uh, tipunin ng mga assistant leaders yung kanilang groupings kung saan sila gustong magpunta. Okay, open dito sa church at uh, dito sa covered court, open din tayo doon sa, sa amphitheater. And then yung uh, bawat group leaders po, dito tayo sa harap.